this guy. I'm here with Georgie here today to show you how to write pretty. We're going to be going through a little ASMR-esque video to give your ears some tingles. And as that's happening, I'm going to be using this clip and set to show you how to not just achieve aesthetic Also, aesthetic perfection through the visuals of the video. So, I hope you are all ready for that. And before we go on too long, let's start with the video. So, I'm just going to show you the simple how to show a figure on a photo of a pretty face. Um, I did a few of these and I hope they make you feel good. So basically I was going to use a few of these examples to write the faces to the photo. Hello, my name is Kyle. As you hopefully remember, and I'm going to walk you through some simple steps of calligraphy. This is a form of calligraphy, which is using a pen called the pointed pen, and it's called that because have a look. As you can see, it's got a pointed end to it. And this is also flexible, which means when you apply pressure on the downward stroke, and you've got enough ink on it, obviously, the line is thicker. And this can be used in calligraphy to produce some very nice letters. I'll just write a simple word, hello, using this. Hey, I'll do ASMR, but that's all capitals. Yeah. take a few moments, which is the one normal thing about calligraphy. So if you want to make it work, then I'll do the first part by myself without a trained hand to help. Okay? Um, <laughs> here we go. Don't mind if I do my tiny step up because it won't work. He, there, Georgina said that we ended up spending almost half of a of almost a whole cup of ink, but the truth is, in fact, that I almost ended up spilling a whole cup of ink, <laughs> which, to be honest, I'm quite happy with, because it wasn't on my carpet, <laughs> it was on Georgina's carpet, so I don't know what I'm doing here, just for some reason I started doing a little spiral, but oh well, it looks pretty, I'm going to work that into the design somehow. Oh, I got distracted. Yeah, that looks even hard, doesn't it? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, cool. Yeah, I ended up spilling a almost a whole bottle of ink. And it's a very, very hilarious story, which I'm sure Georgina will be telling at some other ASMR opportunity. But all I want to know is that there is a stain on the carpet we've tried to remove, but it doesn't come, and I've almost run out of ink, so this video is going to be a lot more disappointing than we'd hoped for, but hopefully more interesting enough to make you actually care about that, so it's all going to be okay. Um, if you want to see how I actually write the big bad part, then you should watch this video. Don't yeah, yeah. Like Georgine is actually a very sneaky character. <laughs> She knows exactly how to get out of situations like this. So I'm going to write the word sneaky here. I think it's cuckoo. So, sneaky deaky. On the upstrokes of the pen, apply very little pressure and the line remains thin. On the downstrokes, if you apply some pressure, the line becomes flat. And there's an S. 
Is that what you can see? The upper letters. I can move this kind of cable for you. This is called copper plate. Cable thing. If you just have to learn what all the letters look like. So that act as a bit of practice. Visual vision. But once you do, the letters will always remain the same. So unless you want to start doing something a bit experimental and changing the letters up, you should always be able to get home. And also, I think the most important thing is to be able to, if you keep the angles of the letters consistent, then it's always going to look pretty. Which, as I say this, I realise that that F and that K are very different angles, so this does not in fact look pretty, but I might have been able to fool you into thinking that it does look pretty. I'll try, I'll write pretty here, since that seems to be the, the word which has come up the most in the first few minutes. So there are a few letter forms which have to be remembered. If you're doing a capital letter, a lot of them start with this. So if I wanted to do a P for pretty, there's that initial line, and then now there's a P, which you can end. If you wanted to do another letter, let's say an F, you start with the same stroke, you can end it slightly differently, and you have harmony. Oh, and actually, I'm going to change that halfway to Anki. And the P. It's a B. Or this one. Beautiful. So it almost looks easy, really. See what Regina looks like when she's having a glass. Um, Try it. <laughs> and you try pushing on the ground to balance it. Like I did it because you have to tilt it and stuff. to do the point pose um, so I'm sure you can see that Georgina has learnt that these lines are in fact parallel so this is this is objectively pretty in the sense that there is such a thing 
the right answer is very clear here. I think you should take five out of the seven to make it perfect, or else what you put there is probably smoochy, pretty, <laughs> funky, busy. I'm like a big <laughs> messy. And we've also got sleepy. Ah, oh, sleepy. Sleepy, and we've got kinky. I think. <laughs> Sleepy. See, there is a bit of a. I don't know if you can see that. The I applied a bit too much pressure here, so you can see a very sort of different man in there. Also, I'm writing this at an angle, so when I said wrist movement was important, I'm actually using my finger movement here, which is not optimal. So don't do as I'm doing here, because that's not good. I'm only doing this so that. The camera can pick it up, but I think it's got quite an awkward angle. Let me see if I can. Yeah, that might be better. I'm going to write sleepy, and then I'm going to write kinky. He's sleepy. Now, if I'm honest, I've done this quite sloppily, but you know what matters here is that I'm teaching you techniques. I don't have to be doing it perfectly each time, so there's my excuse. You should, when you're doing this kind of classical committee thing, this is called copper break, if you're interested. You should really learn what each letter looks like. You can find them on the internet. You can type in the copper plate alphabet and learn what every letter should look like. P should not look like this, with the line hanging down there. And apples should not look like that, with the very straight sort of vertical line happening there. But you know what? We all make mistakes. So let's just get over it, shall we? And imagine that it never happened. Kinky is the next word. It's the same with sign writing as well. Um, I've written a lot of alphabets here to kind of maybe get the hang of how they kind of mathematically form the, the shape that you kind of put them in. Once you get past that point where you've got the scale, you may get to the hang of an alphabet. I think something to remember is that however good you get, you're always going to be able to find mistakes in your own work. You're never going to get to a point where you think yourself that you have done things perfectly, and it's kinky, because perfection doesn't actually exist. There is no perfect state to art because art in itself doesn't have a art is subjective so whatever you think is perfect will not be perfect to somebody else so really you can never reach a point that you are happy with because you're always going to see where you can improve and you're always going to see the mistakes which you've made so never try to reach perfection instead try to find a place where you're happy and you enjoy actually doing it because that will give you a reason to practice and that will give you a reason to continue if you were always concerned about being perfect you would just end up never doing it ever because you'd be disappointed whenever you tried so I suppose the main takeaway point is have fun doing it you know that you're never going to ever create the most well some people I kind of feel like are perfect at it but that's just me thinking yeah, that I'm inferior exactly and these these people they they when they look at their work they will be able to see the mistakes that they're making so just don't stress it mm. have fun with what you're doing if you
you think that it looks pretty, then it looks pretty. Don't have to worry about it. The main points we're going to go through are one, keep the letter angles consistent. Um, two is guide them. Yeah, two. Look, remember this like shape here. Apply pressure on the down stroke to make a flat line. My pen's run out of ink, but you remember from that. Three, learn all of the letter forms, all of the letter forms, so that you can replicate them accurately. And four, just have a blast doing it. So. Yeah, well, I think essentially calligraphy can be simplified down to those four points. I don't think there's anything else to it at all. Mm. That's all it is. Four simple rules. If you learn all four of them, you'll be great at it. Mm. <laughs> well. I think as well, like if people are ever particularly using perfection in their work, just be using some piece of paper and like one point and say, "This is how I'm going to." Yeah, yeah that's another thing. It's just if ever I've got a commission to do a piece of calligraphy and I and I finish it, I notice there's a little ink blot in the corner while well, like the letters are slightly wobbly. Still makes it close. Exactly. In the past, I would have thrown that away and have done it again until I have it perfect. But it just takes too long, and now maybe it's out of laziness, mm -hmm. or maybe I've actually justified it to myself properly. But I kind of feel that when you have those kind of little mistakes, it shows that it was hand made and it was handwritten and there was love going into it. And it also shows that it's my hand because I'm going to have my own style, which and the style is partly based on the imperfection in my own technique. And I think you might see some mistakes here and all of those things are sort of unique to me. Other people wouldn't make those same mistakes. They might make the same mistakes, but in a different way. So essentially you would be able to recognize my calligraphy from someone else's by the mistakes that I make. And that's what makes it unique to my own. The mistakes that I make describe me. What is that Kanye West lyric? It's everything I'm not makes me everything I am. Yeah, and I think you can draw a metaphor there. Yeah, the president's content. Yeah, two twen twenty twenty mm. president he's going to be. Yeah. And um, I think it's safe to assume that that he knows what he's talking about. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think we'll end the lesson now with some words from the wise Kanye West. A lot of very unproductive babbling from your two hosts here. Mm -hmm. Some messy, scratchy sounds with the pen. And some weird dwarves, which we are going to be pitching to Disney mm -hmm. for the Maybe. I think that will make a very interesting live action porn film. So, thank you all at home for watching. And I hope that our soothing voices were satisfying enough for your ears. Thank you. Goodbye. Just lying down on the floor, <laughs> trying not to eat his peanut butter toasty. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to the subscriber that sent me this as a gift. Um, I haven't quite picked up more of its game yet, but for the Mitch and Steve project, I'm currently using Dexter's Blue the Steve Mitch Digital and Fast Track Ink. So, thank you for all the help and for watching.